Hi guys, how you doing? And welcome back. Okay, so following the apocalypse theme, I thought we'd have a look at three of the captains that have come out. Um, I didn't get the other captain because it's a jet pack and there's nothing I really wanted from it except for the head, which I swapped the head with someone else, so I got the head. Um, now, obviously, pretty much... I can't use these main bodies, well I can use this one, but we'll look at this in a second, uh, for the Horus Heresy, um, because um, it's a different Mark Armour to what I'm using, but what I can use are the bits that are there, and I think these would make fantastic add-ons to Heresy Era Command Squads, so especially if you're playing large apocalyptic games and stuff like that, because it could be quite good, or if you wanted to customise your Forge World stuff to fit in um, with um, captains in the 40k you could use a bit of this with other bits and pieces anyway so let's have a good look at them so we're going to start off with this one first um, it is the captain master of the relics um, I've got to say I really love this so if we just bring this up you can actually see my ugly mug in the background oh how you doing okay so it's the master of the relics um, it's an awesome piece if I bring this closer we can actually have a good look at the packet it's a very heresy era armor. I do like that. Um, it's got the wrong kind of backpack for, for what we need, but we can replace the bits that are on the top onto the, our normal backpacks and stuff like that and have him as a, a different type character. I do love the head on this one. The head looks really, really cool. And I like the fact that he's got a combo plasma and bolter there which is again another cool thing. So let's have a look at the actual sprue itself. Um, this is fast cast, and we do like a nice bit of fine cast. Uh, I say fine cast, I did say fast cast then, it's not, it's fine cast. Um, we do like a nice bit of fine cast, especially now that they've started to master the actual molding process. When it first came out, it had a bit of a bumpy ride, but it's finally got there. And I've got to say, lovely. I mean, the detail in this is really, really cool. I've got no qualms with this whatsoever. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now, it's up for converting. It's fantastic. Um, you don't have to put this weapon in there. You could put something else instead. Just means you've got to do a bit more converting on it. Um, it could make a fantastic tech marine. You know, with what you can do, chop that arm off there. You could replace that whole arm section. Uh, if you were very careful with a brand new shoulder pad and a different arm and maybe put a backpack with arms coming out the top. The actual head itself is absolutely brilliant. There's a lot of detail in there. I kind of like that. Now, to be fair, I've only really got these for the different heads because it's nice to have different style heads, but I'm actually going to be using this one in my heresy armor. Um, in my heresy army, sorry, I should say, because uh, it kind of fits in nicely um, as a sort of like uh, heresy era armor. Uh, it's very, very nice looking. I do like it. Okay, so let's move on to the next guy. So the next guy is the Master of the Rites. Now, when I saw this, I was like, now this is a really cool model. This is brilliant. I love this. And I love this little sort of like staff or rod that he has in his hand and the big speaker in the back on the uh, backpack. Now, that's going to be really useful to put into... Um, my heresy era stuff just to make things look a little bit different make it look a little bit more exciting so I'm quite excited by by this figure and the fact that he's screaming out as well over the microphone so let's have a look at the actual piece itself again really highly detailed lots and lots of going on um, I love this bit of cloak hanging over there I just I really love this I was hoping that this was the whole arm was a separate piece um, and it's not unfortunately. I mean, I may be able to tamper around with this and replace the legs uh, on either side, who knows, um, with some heresy stuff and maybe just fill in that bit there um, so they can't see the tubing on it. It'd be nice to do something with it because it is a really cool mini. Um, and again, there's just so much going on on it. If we spin it around, you can actually see uh, the speaker system there, which looks really, really cool. I mean, it does look really, really cool. I mean, if you lob that top bit off and fit that onto a different backpack, that would make, well, that'd be really good for a uh, a word bearer. You know, with all the uh, psalms and stuff that they're preaching out and stuff over the top, that'd look really cool. Okay, let's just check out the rest of the bits and pieces. So it comes with a 
a rod in one hand, which I may just cut off the hand and use that on something else. Um, this bit that I was really interested in uh, is really cool with a speaker system all set up into it. That'd be really cool on the base. Um, and then the head, we can get a detailed look at the head. If I can get it just uh, focused, there we go, I do apologise. I mean, there's so much going on in that. Again, that would look really, really cool on a word bearer. There's just so much detail to it. Absolutely amazing. Even that would look really cool on a word bearer. Okay, let's move on. And then finally, uh, we have the Master of the Marches. Now, I did like this. I think this looks really, really cool. So I really want to have a, a detailed look at the actual model itself uh, and see what bits we could possibly use out of it to add to our heresy era stuff. Um, and these are basically just captains, basically. Um, so if you want to do a formation where it's all captains, especially with a new Apocalypse book, this is going to be really useful for you. OK, so let's have a look at the head again. Highly detailed, all in individual, not like the rest of them, um, in the sense that, okay, yeah, he's got a bald head, but there's different stuff on his head going on there, and a different look. And I wish Games Workshop would do a series of different heads and bits that you could just use to upgrade your sprues, uh, upgrade your men and stuff on a set of sprues. Okay, this is going to be really nice. I like this. Straight away, I'm in love with this. There's so much you can do with it. And if we look at the armour, I mean, that is really detailed. I mean, it's really ornate, it's got loads going on in there. You know, you look at that, it's got a beautiful skull on the shoulder pad. Lovely cloak hanging down. The cloaks, I just love the way GW does their cloaks. Really nice, just hanging there. Again, loads of information and stuff on there. Just beautiful. Okay, so let's have a look what else it comes with. Now, it's the speaker system that we really love as well. That is so cool. And that staff, just that, you know, that little sort of walking stick that he's holding there. Really cool. Even the little cherub. There's so much going on. That is so beautiful. And again, another hand there. That's really nice. That can be used. There's loads there that can be used. Um, see, this would look lovely on my uh, Imperial Fist. Just Cut that top off section there and put that on a backpack from a heresy era. That'd look really nice on there. So, as usual, it's all about converting and making things look fantastic. So, all in all, these are around about £15 UK money. I don't know what how much they are in the States or Australia or anywhere else in the world. Uh, they're really cool. Really, really cool. Um, it'd be nice to see like a, a four pack of them, like I think they did with the original ones. But um, these, if you've got the uh, chapter masters from the last uh, set that came out you add these you've got eight minis straight away with your commanding officer uh, and I think there's a formation in your apocalypse book which is basically all the chapter masters um, which gives you about eight figures and a command squad and your um, Malgus, Mar uh, Marnius Calgar model or whatever you're collecting ultramarines, black templars um, so it'll be Hellbrick for the, uh, Hellbrick for the uh, black templars but all in all Fantastic minis, beautiful sculpts, really imaginative, um, just damn right beautiful. So check them out. If you haven't already got these, go look at them at least. Uh, if you're after something to convert to make a character for, these are the things to use. They're beautiful. They're so ornate. You could have something very, very special there. So these are absolutely beautiful. Guys, I will see you later. You stay safe. Take care.